What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a pencil illustration of Titan Cameraman from Skibbity Toilet. Now today's lesson is kind of a hybrid between our sketch tutorials and our Sharpie drawings. So we're gonna start our drawing by blocking out the basic shapes first, and then we'll add the details with some clean contours. So for this lesson, I'm using this Nick Pro 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil with this 2B graphite stick. Now we're gonna begin by blocking out the basic shape of the head. Let's start over on the left side. I'm gonna draw a straight angle line going up and across towards the right, towards the back of the head. I'm gonna draw a right angle coming down towards the bottom. Right about there. And we wanna draw the same length line across the back. Now you wanna close off the bottom with a straight line. Now you wanna create a three dimensional rectangle along the top. So from these two corners, I'm just gonna slope this down, come down an angle towards the back. You're gonna take that same angle from the bottom, do the same thing. And we'll close off the end with this same angle that we have in the front. Now you wanna take that same line across the back on the right. Coming across, right about there, and it'll we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're gonna place the base of the neck across the back of a rectangle. So right up here, it's gonna bend this down and across towards the shoulders. Now sketch out an oval and an angle for the base of the neck, coming down and back up. From the top of the oval, let's slope the back, coming down and out, and it'll we'll curve this down and then across towards the left. Let's go back up to the top of the oval. We're going to slope the left shoulder, coming down to right about there. Curve the chest, going out and then down. Let's separate the body in half. So we're going to start from the bottom of this oval. So I'm going to curve this out and then down. I'm going to go back and add some thickness to the neck. Starting from the bottom of the oval, let's follow that same curve, going across and then up underneath a rectangle. And the same thing across the back of the neck. I'm just going to close off the top of the neck with a slight curve. Now that we have the head and body, let's start layering in the other components. We're gonna start with the two cameras on top of the shoulders. Now the one on the left is gonna be sloped down. So we're gonna start up here, come down an angle, from the top and bottom, slope this down and then out. Now it's gonna create a square on the end. From these three points, we're gonna slope this down and then in behind the body. Let's add that camera on top of the right shoulder. We're gonna start with a straight line going across the bottom, just up above the shoulder straight up and we'll close off the top. Now from these three corners, it's going to angle this down and over towards right to right about there and just close off the end across the back. Now I'm going to place the antenna along the top of the head over on the left side. So we start with a straight line going up. Let's move over and draw that twice. And just close off the top with a straight line. Let's add those LED lights along the outside of that antenna. So on the right side, we're just going to slope this down across the head Right about there, and go up. Now we're just drawing a rectangle with this light. Let's line up this corner over on the left side. It's gonna slope this down, angle this up towards the top, come down along the side, and then just pull that in. Now I'm gonna add one more smaller camera along the side of the head. Let's start up here. It's gonna slope this down and out. Come down an angle towards the bottom, and we'll just close this off. And then from these three points, we're going to stretch this across towards the back using an equal length line. Close off the bottom with this line and then this line across the top. I'm going to add that large lens in the center of the body. So we move over towards the left side, draw an oval, coming down and then back up. We can overlap the side of the body. Now from the top and bottom, draw a straight line coming in. Close off the end with that same curve. Now we're going to add some shape to the front of the camera. Along this line, we're going to step down, sketch a line going across. Now, from the right side, we're going to slope this down towards the bottom line. Let's go over towards the left, draw the same thing. Now let's place the lens over on the left side. Just up against this line, we're going to draw an oval. We're going to come down and then up towards the top. From the top and bottom, draw a straight line coming in. Now they've had the basic building blocks of our drawing, we're gonna go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now I'm gonna use a rough sketch as a guide to add some more detail and refine the shapes. Let's start by tracing the front edge of the lens. And then we'll push the inside lens over towards the right to give it a little bit of depth.
Now during this phase, we're gonna find opportunities to transform those basic shapes into more interesting forms. Let's add some basic shading and hatching to enhance those forms. You can see that I'm taking out the sharp corners and then just tracing the frame around. And I'm going to divide this area in half to create a grid pattern, then separating the sides in half. And I'm going to go across horizontally. Now I'm also going to add a wire coming down from the bottom, just tucking that in behind and just going back up along the back side. Also adding a little bit of a texture along the inside. And now we're going to work our way across the main part of the head. Again, just rounding out those top corners. And just work our way along the inside. Add a glare across the lens. I'm just going to darken up the top and then blend that down. And then adding a light shade across the top of the lens. Now I'm just going to darken up the inside cabin of the head, going around the lens. I'm just going to add a little bit of texture across the outside of the lens, going across the barrel with these horizontal lines. I'm just going to add a medium shade to the back of the barrel.
I'm just going to blend the body of the camera in towards the neck, so just rounding out the top, coming down towards the base. And then down here, I'm just going to add in the collar. Go back and just darken up the neck, and we're just going to fade that down towards the bottom, towards the collar. Now to help break up the composition, I'm just going to add a wire coming down from the bottom of the head and towards the side of the neck. I'm just going to push that into a silhouette by darkening up the inside. I'm just going to add another one across the back. And draw the edge of the jacket, going around. I'm just going to darken up the top of the body and just fade that down. I'm going to add that same texture across the barrel for the camera lens. And just like we did with the head, we're going to refine the shape of the cameras on the shoulders. do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to go back and just refine the outside perimeter of our drawing. Now we're going to add some shadows inside the body. So I'm just going to trace out the contours first. 
and just lightly add the shade inside. Let's finish off with a few fine details and signing our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a pencil illustration of the Titan Cameraman from Skibbity Toilet. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. If you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.